How often do you have questions about running your business? Stop guessing. Get real answers to all your business questions. Unlimited access to business advisors for the expert advice you need when you need it. Go to OneMoreCustomer.com now. Welcome to TwinCities.com and another edition of Tark Talk. Joining me as always, Hall of Fame quarterback, Minnesota Viking legend, <laughs> Fran Tarkenton. And Fran, I don't know what happened this past week, but we saw four starting quarterbacks go down to injury. Let's quarterbacks quarterbacks went down. The worst one was probably Roethlisberger. Yeah. Uh, separated shoulder. Uh, be out for weeks. That hurts Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh was on a roll. Then you've got three other quarterbacks that got concussions, and whether any of them will come back this week or not, who knows. But the thing that I cannot understand in the National Football League, where are the backups? They all talk about, well, the backups never get any uh, reps at the practices. Right. So when they go in the game, they haven't been practicing. That's crazy. That's stupid. You've got, you know, quarterbacks are vulnerable. Every position is vulnerable. You, you've got to have somebody who can come in and play when your quarterback goes down. And you also have to have someone who has practiced and had reps so he can go in with the first team because the chances of quarterbacks going down are greater than ever with the physicality of the game. Now, Pittsburgh is in great jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Byron Leftwich isn't going to get them to the playoffs. And without a Roethlisberger, they're in trouble. How do you like to go against the Ravens this week with Byron Leftwich? He runs about a 10-flat 40. I mean, he's, he's failed everywhere he's been. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Yeah. But, but you've got to, you, 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 you have no alternative there, and you really have no chance. And uh, it's interesting to me. The great players don't get hurt very much at quarterback. Peyton missed one year. What did he play, 14? Tom Brady missed one year in the fluke. Played all, Drew Brees plays plays every week. Eli plays every week. Yep. But Cutler, you know, you look at Cutler, and I watched him uh, get hit, and he was kind of he was running kind of like this. He throws the ball, and the guy I don't think tried to hit him with the head, but he hit in the head. It's a terrible hit. Yep. Cutler goes down, but we've seen Cutler go down all the time. Sure. You cannot be a great quarterback unless you're on the field every week. You've got to keep yourself well. Little Michael Vick. With all of his great natural talent, all of his running ability, he gets hurt. And if you get hurt, you lose the continuity of your team. And now Mike Vick's career is in trouble, as gifted as he is, and probably because he doesn't keep himself well. Quarterbacks have to learn how to avoid the rush, go out of bounds, slide, go down, avoid the contact. And the great ones do that. The great ones play week in, week out. Well, and for as much as you used to run around the field, you really never took many direct hits. I took some hits, and uh, I got knocked out a couple of times, but I missed five games by injury in 18 years. And But back in our day, we had good backups. Bob Lee was a good player. When he had to come in and play, he and he practiced like that. He played Bob Barry. Uh, uh, was was a backup, and he played. Earl Morrow was my backup in New York, and obviously when he came in, he played good. But our quarterbacks all practiced and had reps. Now, here we have modern-day football, all these smart guys with all these studies and all these deals of, of making themselves better, and they don't get enough reps? <laughs> Give me a break. I hope, Leslie Frazier, that you're giving Joe Webb some some reps so that in case uh, Christian Ponder goes down, Joe Webb has got some practice. He can go ahead and play. All right, so let's talk about the Vikings. We're coming off a big win, but we're going into the bye week now. Yep. And coming out of the bye week, we have one of the toughest schedules yep. in the NFL. What do the Vikings need to be doing right now on the bye week to really prepare? Well, I think rest. Okay. Get well. Uh, and, and come back refreshed for your last push. It's a good time to have the bye week coming off of a win. We played 10 games. We've got six left. I think it's going to take 10, 10 wins to get in the playoffs. Uh, and, and I think, uh, you know, we've got two games against the Bears, two games against uh, uh, the Packers, and they're always tough, but they're division rivals. We know how to play them. And maybe Cutler won't be there for the Bears. And uh, But I think this team can get the, those four wins and, and get to the playoffs. But I think it's a great time to have the bye. Come off a real good game. Team had a little more – zip to him, a little more emotion to him. I liked it. You got to play with a little emotion. Football's an emotional game. 
and uh, and they did, and they played smartly, and 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 I'd like to see our receivers catch the ball a little better. I saw some alligator arms a couple of times. I saw some drop passes. You cannot drop interceptions. You cannot drop passes. You got to catch the ball. You got to watch it in, and and if we can clean up some of that stuff, but I thought Christian played played a lot better. But the whole team, and then of course we had Adrian, and uh, he was off the charts again. Uh, and uh, is then probably going to have the best year of his career. Absolutely. And, folks, if you haven't read Fran's article on Adrian Peterson uh, on the St. Paul Pioneer Press this week, make sure you yep. do so. And make sure you join us back next week because we'll be back with another edition of Tark Talk right here at TwinCities.com.